Thank you very much, Miss Alexis King. Now, if you've never really been to a ballet, you are missing out on an amazing experience. This past Christmas, I went to my very first one, and I've got to admit, I was concerned I wouldn't be able to follow the storyline, because, of course, there's no dialogue. It's, it's music and dance. Yeah, yeah. But so i got to be honest, it was truly an amazing experience. William Starr, so of course, joins me so from the Columbia City Ballet. Good morning. Yeah, morning. how about that? Now, riddle me this, Mr. Starrett. <laughs> how difficult is it to stage a production without dialogue? Well, you can tell a story just about anything you can think of. Uh, mm -hmm. it's with the mood is set with the lighting, for right. instance, and the music really gets the mood as well, like if it's scary or happy, and then through the pantomime mm -hmm. and the acting. So we approach the dance now really like a movie star or an actor. People are so used to seeing that. So right. they're really living the plot. The opera, sometimes, you know, they sing the aria and then they die. You know, our ballet isn't like that. We're really living and trying to tell the story through the acting and the, the feeling of the music. So this weekend is a very, very special weekend for the Columbia City Ballet, um, Sleeping Beauty. Yes. Only once every seven years, so it was 2004, uh -huh. 2020, and this weekend. Yes. And um, it's a huge major production. Um, Tchaikovsky made three major ballets, and his first one was The Sleeping Beauty. Right. And then he created The Nutcracker and, of course, Swan Lake. So this is a, a real landmark for, um, for ballet. It's very mm -hmm. challenging to the dancers still today. It's a fantastic story, perfect for the whole family. It's a great ballet if it's one of your first ones. Because and, and that's what I was going to ask. Would this make, because Nutcracker's a classic, obviously, when I saw it, and it was, it was amazing. Thank you. Would this be another good one for somebody, maybe a novice, to start out and get a little taste of the arts? Yes, because the story is so clear and mm -hmm. easily understood is, is one of it. And it's very grand and very high pace and lots of energy. It's very technically demanding. Right. So if you're into the physicality or athleticism is like sure. perfect for that. Well, I know we, we watched uh, just a couple of minutes of video here of, of the the training and all the, the practice. I, I mean, I don't know how you all get to do that and you're up and you plie, right? Is that, yes, is that the right plie, word? plie, very good. Uh, uh, all, the, all the training is in French, but it is kind of hard to explain. It's very right. physical. So sure. Tell you what, I think, what, what if I show you? You're going to go ahead. Yes. No, no. I think I want to take you to the studio. Take me to the studio. Yes, and plus, Tyler, one of our dancers this morning mm -hmm. called in sick. So I'm missing, I'm missing a dancer, and I could really use your help. So follow me. We're going to go to the studio right now, and you're going to help Wait, me start it. with okay. the Sleeping Beauty rehearsal. Uh, all right. Okay, Tyler, here we are, 1545 Main Street. This is the headquarters of the Columbia City Ballet. The home of the ballet. Yes, and this is where your rehearsal will take place. Tyler, we've had a bit of an emergency. One of the Cavaliers mm -hmm. um, is sick at home. All right. So you want me to bring him chicken soup? I can do that. No, we already, we already sent the chicken soup, All and right. he's going to make tonight's rehearsal, but we're in a bind right now. So we're hoping you can fill in with the <laughs> famous Rosa Daggio. Oh, the famous Rosa Daggio. Yeah. I actually had that for breakfast. It's very good. <laughs> no, it's not oatmeal. This is real dancing here. Gotcha. All right. So, All right. you think you can help us out? Man, I'll give it my best shot. Okay. So you it's about six hundred dollars an hour for the dancers to rehearse. So their time is very scheduled, very precise. The dancers have to be very quick, very smart. They cannot waste time. They cannot be late. Um, it's kind of like the military, but not really. Um, but it's scheduled like that because it's the same with the curtain call. You know, you call places and on time, and so all of the dancers' life is very scheduled, and they, they work at being disciplined at being on time, because when the curtain goes up, the curtain goes up. Excellent! Really well, you, good! You're very kind, you're very kind. Sleeping Beauty, though, that's going to be amazing, right? Yes, it is, and it's this weekend, Friday and Saturday. Awesome stuff. Cogar Center? Cogar Center, um, 7.30 on Friday and 3 and 7.30 on Saturday, and great tickets are still available. You call 251-2222. Fantastic. Can I say your line? Yes. All right, we're down here at the uh, Columbia City Ballet. Yes. Here on Main Street, William Storage, the great cast from uh, Sleeping Beauty. I'm going to throw it back to the studio now, and have a good day, Columbia. <laughs> Perfect.